Don't give me that crap. This is my spot. I pay for it, so it's mine. I'm the one who paid for this spot. Like, I even got the permit for it. So stop lying to me and for moose before I put you on a noose. Alrighty guys, welcome back to more Trails of Cold Steel. We actually just spent some time off camera trying to farm for the U material, which is pretty much a super rare damn material that only shows up on a couple of enemies in the game. And right now, uh, the only one that really shows up with the material in this portion of the game is this guy right here. This stupid tomato. Tomato. The this acerbic tomato, whatever his name is. His accuracy is really high because he was dodging a lot of this stuff we were throwing at him. But that's pretty much his gimmick. And then he can confuse you and attack you. It's actually pretty insane. But um, this dude drops the U material. We ran into this Ripper Squirrel off camera. I didn't scan him in time because. We got ambushed, and he was looking pretty rougher than the rest of them. The best of them, to be honest. He was looking pretty uh, tough. I don't know, but he was very rare to show up. We only got to see him once out of like the couple fights that we actually got into. I was trying to farm youth materials. I wasn't even trying to level up or anything. It's just It just happened. So we're like level 10 with everybody now. And before we head out to do the dinosaur quest, I guess what we're going to do is head to the inn. I said head to the inn. The weathercock inn. Sarah's still here? Like I said, it's up to you kids to decide how to handle things. You're representing Thor, so don't do anything crazy. That would probably have more weight if you said it without alcohol in your hand and food in your mouth. Or if you hadn't put the boys and the girls in the same room for that matter. Really, is there no way to change that arrangement? I guess I was right in thinking that it'd bother you at least. I think it would bother most girls. I assume she certainly isn't the type to be bothered at least is she for real for real for real guys she said for real y'all know what to do let me just say that this was entirely on purpose it's not just you guys either i made sure the other group would all be in the same room too what is there a reason you arrange things like this well let's put it this way from now on there are going to be times where you'll have to trust each other with your lives meaning you'll have to be able to put your personal differences behind you if you still if you want to act like a as a cohesive team. Now think for a moment, can a group of people that are too shy to even sleep in the same room really accomplish that? You right, you right. If not, then class trouble might be for some trouble down the line. Ugh, so this is essentially a test of sorts. Only you would come up with something like this. Why I, why I understand the reasoning behind your choice. Ooh. Can you at least try to act like a decent human being while you're lecturing us? <laughs> Sarah doesn't care, dude. And make sure that you can get your Arcus looked at while you're here. You'll find a place just outside of here. It's called, uh, Margo, what was it called again? Oh, Sarah, you're hopeless. Understood. Sarah actually doesn't care. She actually doesn't care. She's a hilarious. Hey, man, I know you're just probably getting dressed or whatever. Can I just talk to you? I mustn't complain, though. Annabelle, having shelter from the elements is all the been asking for. Alright, cool. This is our room, right? Alright, let's go fight this dinosaur. The last dinosaur I was ever scared of was the, the dinosaur that shows up at the beginning of the game in the training area in Final Fantasy VIII. It's like literally a, a T-Rex can show up and like earthquake you and kill like your whole team. Final Fantasy VIII had like uh, and not a, not an issue, but it had a mechanic where the game's enemies scaled along with you. So the best way to play the game was actually not the level. It was just to like remain low level and just farm like higher level magics from like higher level or higher tier demons or monsters, I guess. But let's hope this dinosaur doesn't cause too much of a problem for us. Here we go. Yeah, the dinosaurs in uh, East Eight was pretty tough. Really tranquil area, not for the monsters. 
Oh, look who yeah. we found. Let's be careful. Uh-oh. He can't see me behind this tree. See, man, that's a weird-looking sword sticking out of that tree. Turn around. Turn around. Hold up. Here we go. Yeah, you thought. I can do this. My turn. Yeah, you thought. Right. Oh Where no, that, that sucks. We'll have to fight. You got me. You got me, bro. Earth cleaver, though. Ah! Uh, that's what I'm talking Here about. Go. Damn, he got one shot it. It's my turn. No chance, dude. Holy cow. Focus Ripperoo, we gotta fight Ripperoo from the zoo. All right, Ripper Squirrel, stimulant and red beast flesh. He can go to sleep, get burned, and get blinded pretty easily. Ripping Ripper. My turn. Why are you ripping on us, bro? Ooh, I'ma slash you if you're ripping. All right, Azure, thanks for coming out, dude. I appreciate it. Boom! Get out of here. Go. Nicely done, Elisa. Same to you. That was great. Oh, it shows you the battle time. I didn't even realize that. Check my links. Our links are looking all right. All right, which way are we going? couple of chests that way. So we actually have um, detection equipped to Laura's weapon or her orbit, which allows her to actually see chests on the mini-map, which is nice. As long as we have that equipped, we will never really miss any like chests, any hidden chests or whatever. Thank you. Now's our chance. We can do this. Uh -oh. Here we go. Rick, can I get all three? Can I get all three? Oh, okay. I thought maybe they'd be moving their hitbox or whatever. All right. There. Okay, they're moving. Uh. Now's a chance. Good. Good day. Right. Good day. My turn. Of course. All right. Let's do Frost Edge. No. Yeah, Frost Edge. Maybe we'll freeze him. Oh, baby. Uh. That takes care of them. Nice. Cannon reached level two. The cannon. 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 Wow, the stats went up for that thing? Tierra. All right, increases potency of healing arts. Amount healed multiplied by oh baby. So he's healing more, dude. The next level up is insane, dude. Holy cow! Ground bait and chest. Hey, is there is there a place where we can not farm but fish here? You know what? Laura did die off camera, so yeah. What probably happened is that Link got disconnected. So Laura and uh Elliot. We have nothing to fear. Go! Oh, these boys out here trying to get end our career. There! My turn! All right, blue lullaby, go to sleep, my boy. All right, nobody went to sleep. Okay. All uh, right, is a little, he's a little bit in trouble there. Ooh, baby, she is on steroids. Holy cow. Go. She's like the shipple of this game. Holy cow. Like, Inuyasha in the Curse Mask had Shibble as the best character Fire. when it came to just killing everybody with AOEs. Like, he was literally, like, one of the best characters. Hey. 
evil will fall before my blade. All right, first of all, I guess the first thing we should do. Don't move you, set. There we go. Uh, let's heal. Almost forgot to heal. Oh, that's a lot. Heals a medium amount of HP. Why are you running? Now's our chance. We can do this. Oh, the tomato dude is here. Go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Cleaver. Goodbye. <laughs> this dude dodged it. Of course he did. Go. This dude's gonna cause some problems for us, probably. Yep. Counter. Confused. Ugh. It's my turn. Confusion could cause too many problems. Actually, I'm just gonna let it wear out by itself. Oh, good. New material? Aw, oh, he gave me a stupid tomato, dude. Huh. Is that a treasure chest? Proxy puppet, huh? Okay, proxy puppet. Basically, oh, Ooh, reverse doll. Like good spot. You die, it revives you, and breaks the item. Oh, dude, look at that. We got chickens over here, dude. Cows, chicken. Them, them cows, big. This must be the farm that put out the monster extermination request. Should we go inside and ask for more detail? Yeah, we might as well. Certainly better than just wandering around blindly until we find the thing. Well, here. So now is a good a time as any to introduce ourselves, right? Yep. Wow, this farmhouse is huge. <laughs> Look at the cows! Yeah, them cows are big, dude. Those are some big ass cows, man. I ain't never seen a cow that big, man. <laughs> them cows are disproportionate. I'm not trying to chop you, lady. The cows stink. Harvesting the crops is exhausting. Farm work is just the worst. Why did I have to be born into a family like this? Damn, Coco! Farm work is just the worst. Yeah, I, I agree, but man. Damn. What brings you here? If you're looking for my granddad, he's inside. <laughs> I'm not trying to chop the doors down, dude. I promise you. Hey, oh, would you happen to be Cyro? Yeah, we're here to take care of the monsters that's causing issues. As such, we'd like to, uh, some further details on it. Ah, oh, you are. I am the man you're looking for. Well, I do know that it would be uh, students taking care of it. I wasn't aware that you had young ladies in your company. The rest of you are younger than I had expected, too. Perhaps this request may be too dangerous for you after all. Thank you for your concern. However, there's no need to worry. All of us here are combat experienced. Dude, what they feeding them cows? They feeding them cows like some kind of growth hormone stuff, dude. If you insist, they, they feeding them cows steroids. You'll come across a plateau of sorts if you proceed beyond here. That's where the monster tends to appear. It truly is a ferocious one, so much so that passing by the area is impossible as it attacks everything it sees. Do take extra care when approaching it. Right. Being careless with this one doesn't seem like an option. Allow us to make our way there once our preparations are complete. It's a really scary monster that really shows up near the highway. I can hear it in the middle of the night too. Now I'm too scared to sleep by myself. Ah, uh, the fruit we produce is both deliciously fresh and healthy. You can even make whole juice out of it if you're still, yeah, yeah, have this recipe. Oh, whole juice. Yeah, I got this whole ass juice. Juice on a noose. All right, we have to go to the end to get another ingredient. I'll do what I can. 
came out rather well. Golden Juice cures KO and heals 1200. That's good. All right, let's get started. Oh, she sucks at making juice. This is what is this? <laughs> Yellow liquid. Ugh. 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 All right. Talk to this lady over here. Terum happens to be my nephew. He always comes along during the harvesting period every year to help out. He really is a hard worker. Coco gets right to work whenever he's here. Alright. So there's probably some other stuff we definitely missed. Because we missed talking to a few of the other residents. There's, there's so many people to talk to, man. It's like... It's kind of overwhelming sometimes. You gotta talk to the right people to get the right things, you know? I love how chill this road music is. This highway music is. Okay, so we need to go left of here. Softening ointment. Highway 2! Alright, let's look at the menu. There is our targets right over there. Chest right there. This is a oh, this is a somebody all the way in the middle of that thing. I don't know how we get out there. Probably gotta advance the game a little bit. But that dude's already populated in the the area. The transcontinental railroad, huh? Yes, that'll take you out of the country. Yeah. If you keep on heading east. You'd eventually reach Gorelia Fortress. Gorelia Fortress, huh? Can I pick up this item? Alright, there we go. Uh, some dude up top must be like, Yo, go come over here, bro. I will take this chest. Oh, nice! I will, I'm 100% giving that to our girl. Four minutes, Lora. Yeah, look at all that HP she just got. We continue traveling south for Bear Reed eventually read Bear Hard. Bear Hard. We gotta work Bear Hard. <laughs> you gotta walk a lot. You gotta work a hard. Squirrel's gonna not run up on me, or he getting smacked. Hey, dude. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you about running up on me? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, lady. Damn. <laughs> Got him. I can do this. Turn to flames. Burn. My turn. My turn. Nice. I've got you! Right! Of course! My turn! Right! I can do this! My turn! Right! Too slow! Ooh, too My slow, turn. buddy. Hey, I can do this. All right, so she's got a hundred CP. We got a hundred CP ready, dude. Fire. My turn. That's that. Let's keep moving. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You know what? So what I'm gonna do? Hopefully this doesn't mess with anything for her. I'm gonna go to courts. I'm going to set force, and I'm just gonna have it kill some stuff. Shall we begin? My turn. There. Right. Wow, that's OD. Right. Now. So we're gonna go to resounding beat. Keep it up, everyone. And we're just gonna have Laura. Go. Oh, nice. Laura is gonna go in. It's my turn. <laughs> oh, Laura. He had his back turn, Laura. Go. 
go! My turn! Right! Right! Hey! Evil will go. fall before my blade! Here we go. That should probably been a- yeah, 134 CPD. Oh, a treasure chest! Ah! There we go. Earth Lance? Ooh. What is that? Petrify. We'll take it. Alright, we're gonna go back and fight these last group of enemies over here just so I can build up CP for this upcoming fight. Okay. To fight. If I can just somehow burn this guy, might be hitting crits. All right, I see y'all. I see y'all, man. Downing beat. Keep it up, everyone. My turn. Earth cleaver. Can do this. Oh boy. We gotta get rid of this poison. Does poison go away at the end of a fight? Go, go. Go. Here we go. I'm gonna say poison goes away at the end of a fight. You have my things. Right. Sierra. Arcus activate. Of course. Oh wow, she counted. All right, that's cool. All right, cool, 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 cool. So we are ready to go. We're gonna move up. Oh, this dude spawned back. Got him. Oh, what the? He just broke out. He broke out hella quick. Oh, no. Oh, no, my CP. Not, no. What? I didn't even know they could break out of that stun super quick, dude. I'm actually mad. Yeah, we're just gonna... Okay. All I wanted to do was build up CP, dude. That's all I wanted to do. So we're gonna smoke grenade out of here. Huh? Stupid wolves. Oh, whoop. I'm about to whoop the ass, dude. My dude just immediately hopped out of it. Like, oh, come on. It added no additional hit stun. Let's eat some food. Uh, the other dude should have respawned. How did I not open this, by the way? <laughs> I actually never opened that chest. I'm a little bit salty, dude. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna run that back. We're gonna run it back, guys. At least it does have an art for rev uh, the revive people. But. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Now's our chance to do our dance. Here we go. Does this work for everybody? Of course. Huh? Off guard. I'll bet you up. It's my turn. Link. So I don't forget. 
So my thing is, I was trying to see if motivate would actually work on a team. And my dude got game. He got game, dude. Does the CP work for everybody or is it just self? Is the CP just for self? I don't know. We'll cut our own path. I'm a little bit salty, dude. So the CP is for everybody. All right. All right. All right. Let's let's go fight this damn dinosaur before we get clipped by somebody else. I'm mad because them wolves just said, "Yeah, yeah, man, you should have healed from that last fight, man." <laughs> so first thing I'm gonna do. It's 10 attacks from that. Let's get that going. Oh, dude, I was expecting a huge beast. Is that the monster we're looking for? Wait, did I just save it? Please tell me I saved it. It certainly seems to be. <laughs> I know I probably just saved it, but I, I don't know if I just saved it, saved it. Looks pretty tough. What should we do? We don't really have a choice. We have to kill it. It's causing problems for the gosh darn people. We might need to prepare for whatever this thing might throw at us. Right. Oh, okay. We're going to save again just in case. So I actually want to use Scepter because we get more Scepter. We get a chance to get more uh, freaking Scepter. And I like Scepter. Let's get it. I think we're good. Back it off. Oh, okay. This one looks strong. All right. It's my turn. You know exactly what you gotta do, resounding beat. Makes no sense not to do it. To be honest. Zero arts. I'm mad that the analyst, the analysis was a crit. We can freeze. That's the thing. This dude is weak against ice. Of course. Oh, just activate. Go. So motivate. All right, let's do this. Yeah, okay. Still. Crit. Ah. Uh. Damn. It's my turn. Taking a bite out of justice. So we need strikes. Strikes are actually pretty good there. We can try to burn them too, right? Burn is not going to work. We need ice. Poison can work. Blind can work, right? Analysis. All right, just go in. Turn to flames. Burn. My dun, turn. Dun, 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 dun. All right, resounding beat again. Keep it up, everyone. Right. Armor breaker. Oh, uh, God dang. That's My actually turn. OD, dude. If I can delay his ass. There. He's like, yeah, boy. It's my turn. Yeah, boy. What you know about that luck? I think he's confused. It looks like he's confused. Yeah, he is. No, is he dizzy or confused? I can't can tell. I can't tell. Dizzy's not a thing in this game, right? I'm gonna say that's confusion. Out of out of the reach. 
but so is he, so I'm just gonna stay out of reach from him. <laughs> He's in faint, okay. Tell you what. Whoa, we can flee? I didn't mean to. We got this in the bag, dude. Arcus activate! My turn! Not yet. Huh? 695, Jesus. Huh? Well, this is getting a crit. Damn, 1144, dude. Yeah. I can do this. Um Because he's Okay. To my knowledge. That gives her the crit. Oh, you're done. You're done. <laughs> I think he's done, dude. This is the crit right here. Uh, uh. He's like, no, please, please. No, wait. Hold up. God damn. 47, 47. He's like, damn, that did a lot, man. That was OD. If that was 200 CP, dude. Oh, my God. He just talked mad damage. My turn. I don't know what you're doing, but uh, you about to get hit, you about to get smacked by this aqua. You about to get smacked by this H two O, buddy. <laughs> oh, we did it. He said, "Put that Gatorade down. Drink this aqua." I did it. Yeah, boy. I, I was so close to having 200 CP, dude. But I decided to use Armor Breaker. That takes care of that. I don't know how we did it, but we won. It would have been tougher if not for the power of our combat links. I hate to admit it, but Arcus does seem to have a lot of potential. You hate to admit it? Why? Because you got to work with other people? Never mind that. We should just go tell people at the farm we took care of that monster. Oh yeah, I hope they're pleased. Something raw, Lara? Lara Croft? Let's go. Okay. Break the rock. Break the rock. So apparently, from what I'm being told, let me look at the arts again. Not her arts, but her quartz. There's no way... Arts. Craft. Blessed arrow. Why? 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 <laughs> Plus 40 CP? <laughs> it's actually OD! Plus 40? I didn't even notice that until I looked at it. Oh my god, dude. Why? That's way better than Motivate. Motivate gives you attack buffs, but that heals and gives you CP. Alright, let's keep moving on here. Thank God for turbo mode. Holy cow. Let's bang up this dude. Got him. Now's our chance. We can do this. My turn. Right. My turn. My turn. Here we go. Are oh, you counting me? Oh. Counter that, buddy. Is everybody okay? Hold that L, dude. Holy cow. All right, we're made, we made it back to the marketplace. We are here after defeating that damn dinosaur. Whoop! Whoop! Oops! Oops! I was supposed to go to the farm, dude. <laughs> oh my god. All right, thank god for turbo mode, right? 
Oh god, dude. I walked past these people like three times. I'm liking the game a bunch. This game is pretty fun. Syro, oh, I assume you taking care of that monster, right? Yeah, man, yeah, man, that's correct. Whew. Thank goodness, thank you so much. We can finally begin harvesting. I, I really like the game's like battle system, dude. The battle system is actually legit. It's got a lot of layers to it. You got the ability to move your characters on the field to evade attacks and just put them in better positions. Uh, you can like, uh, it's just so many layers to that. You can decide to move them if you're trying to evade or just trying to group up and like get AOE heals or just trying to avoid stuff. It's, I like that. And then you got the link system, which is pretty nice. We haven't even seen like link level two stuff. Like that stuff is supposed to get upgraded the more we hang out with people. So that's going to be fun. And, uh, yeah, so far it, it's, it's really fun. This game is so fun right now. I found myself surprised at how close this area is to Cel Keldic, excuse me. Wouldn't it have been much quicker to make a request to the uh, army instead? Well, it is immediately close, but uh, this this area, Keldic as a whole, really is on the very outskirts. Uh -huh, the Provincial Army isn't very interested in aiding us. It's not too hard to believe, considering their attitude earlier. That certainly doesn't sit well with me. I probably shouldn't say any more on that matter, but uh, I still do owe you all. Uh, reward so uh yeah take this uh fresh egg strawberry starberry honey syrup oh okay that's really generous can we really have this much why of course we got enough to last us here as it is after all it's the least that i can do hope you enjoy them yeah man this looks great that's one of the benefits of, be of being a farmer unfortunately though it's not all good Things have been getting tougher lately, seeing as how goods are being imported so cheaply nowadays. Wow. Importing became a much easier task now thanks to the Transcontinental Railroad. Furthermore, more and more goods can now be legally imported. An increase in cheaper ingredients lately. My apologies. I shouldn't be wasting your time with all this. Regardless, you all have my thanks. Feel free to get in touch should anything come up. Yep, that's completed. So now we need to get the hell out of here. Guess that's that does it for all the mandatory tasks. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pooped. I don't venture out onto the highways very often. The two of you seem okay though. Well, my hometown is in the countryside too, so I'm kind of used to this. And with all the training Laura does, I can imagine this is probably nothing for her. Indeed, I find this level of exercise to be quite manageable. However, what is it? No, I'm sure it's nothing. I believe we should return to the inn. All right. Instructor Sarah. That would definitely be good to know. She hasn't told us anything about what's happening tomorrow either. All right, let's get it. All right, let's run back home. We can cook, we can cook, we can read a book. We can do all that stuff. We got all the quests done, or did we get all the quests done? Quit it already, hurry up and give me my notebook back before I slug you. I'm not being beaten by some city kid. Come get it if you can, dummy. I'm not be yeah, wow, this kid is uh, pretty of a jerk. Not again, stop fighting you two. She gonna pull out the shot and be like, give me my book back, I don't know you. <laughs> oh, don't give crap. Huh? The one paid. What's going on? It sounds like something's happening over at the market. There appears to be some manner of dispute occurring. Uh oh, I wonder what's going on. Should we take a look? Yeah, let's go take a take a look see. Uh oh. Don't give me that crap! This is my spot! I pay for it, so it's mine! I'm the one who paid for this spot! Like I even got the permit for it, so stop lying to me and the moose before I put them things on you! Oh! They bought the box! World Star! May I uh, ask what the problem is? Perhaps we can uh, help in some way. There seems to be some question over which of these two gentlemen gets control of this area to set up his stall. 
The young merchant over there is local, while the merchant wearing the suit is from the capital. So they're both claiming the same spot? How odd. Permits for the market are issued by the province's ruling lord. So for Kelde, that would be... Uh-oh. This isn't good. We must stop them. Hey, who are you, man? Let me go! I'm about to fire on them, man! <laughs> you better put moose before I put you on a noose. So you better let me loose. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> What are you, high schoolers? This has nothing to do with you meddling kids. We're having a mature discussion here. Now, thank you not to interfere. Since when has grabbing a person by the neck has been considered mature? My dude is getting choked up, bro. If you truly intend to have a mature discussion, perhaps you should try acting more like adults. What did you say to me? We're students from the Thor's Military Academy. We're currently visiting the town on a field study. And while we are not yet formal members of the army, I'm afraid we cannot simply walk by and ignore a fight, you know? A military academy, so there are a bunch of soldiers in the training. What an idiot's name is happening here. Bum, dum, bum, bum. Nice music. Manager Auto! Auto Rocket! I've been filled in on what happened. I understand both of you have a permit for the same stall, is that correct? Yeah. And both permits expire at the same time. What's the meaning of this? You've been bamboozled. But fighting over it here is greatly inconveniencing the other customers. I'll be happy to discuss the matter in private, but I'll need you... I'll be... But I'll need to ask you both to put your differences aside until it's resolved. Okay. I guess. Well, that was a close one. Seems like everything's going to be fine now. Guess he's the guy who's in charge. I really appreciate the four of you stepping in to help defuse the situation. So expect no less from the infamous Class 7. Huh? Oh? How did you know about the Class 7? My name is Otto. I'm the manager of Keldix Grand Market. I have some things to discuss with you. If you'd be so kind to come along, I'll treat you to some tea. I don't care about tea, man. You got coffee, though? Vamoose. Papoose. Oh, God. <laughs> he got the lane area. Are we already back at the end, dude? So you're responsible for choosing our assignments. Really? This old man, huh? Didn't expect this cutscene. Principal Van Dick is an old friend of mine, you see. He asked me to personally select a few tasks. It was no trouble at all. I was just doing my job. He paid me handsomely for this. And I can't thank you enough for your help at the market. If you hadn't been there, I imagine somebody would have wound up getting hurt. I'm just glad we got there when we did. So both merchants were will be taking turns using the same stall at the front of the market? That's right. Both of their permits are genuine, but their merchandise and temperaments don't lend themselves to a sharing space. Eventually, they agreed to a compromise where they would... Each make use of the front stall on alternative weeks. Who is relegated there will likely see far lower sales numbers. That's better than nothing, I guess, but still really unfortunate. I must admit, I do find this whole matter rather perplexing. To my knowledge, the issuing of market permits is the sole responsibility of each province's ruling lord. For a mistake such as this to have been made in the first place raises some rather unpleasant questioning. Hey, that's true. Uh, so, Lord, you can control the flow of the goods. Uh, if he can't handle it, the local economy can uh, really suffer, you know. You are quite right, sir. Ordinarily, the responsibility would fall upon the Duke's household. The Duke? One of the four most powerful nobles in the entire country. But lately, the situation surrounding the Duke's household has been getting a bit complicated. Oh, complicated? Three months ago, he increased the sales tax for our market rather significantly. And with a larger percentage of the profits being taken from them, the merchants have begun to rather get desperate. Fights like the one you saw earlier are becoming more and more commonplace. Sales tax is something which should not be raised without careful consideration. History has shown how damaging such a actions could be. Oh man, I never heard of anything like that happening in the capital.
Nobody cares what I have to say. It's like they're not listening. If that's the case, the mix up with the permits may have just been more than an accident. Nah, they was just trying to gouge people's money. Like, yeah, you can have this. Yeah, man. You're trying to pay handsomely for this? They don't care. They just get money. They don't care if they make screw-ups like the earlier. They just get money, man. They just trying to get money. Are you suggesting, uh, they may be getting careless when dealing with the market, or maybe they're deliberately trying to cause problems? I don't think it's a good idea to jump to conclusions. That's right. I will say that before all this began, the soldiers in the guardhouse absolutely would have intervened in a scuffle like that. Unlike the Imperial Army, a problem, you know, Army's main priority is maintaining the status quo throughout their territory. So mediating arguments which threaten that status quo should absolutely fall within the scope of their duties. It seems that unless we accept this tax increase, they intend to turn a blind eye to the market. The commanding officer at the guardhouse had even made comments suggesting as much. Hmm. We learned about the economy here, man. This is strictly an internal affair, man. Politics and economy. You need to be focused on your field study. You will? So you were asked to prepare some for each day of our visit then. I got a few difficult ones in mind too, but I'm sure you're up for them. Okay. We'll do our very best to meet your expectations. All right. Sorting out problems at the Grand Market is our responsibility. You don't need to worry yourselves about it. All right. There's no doubt you'll you're all tired after today, so it would be best to rest up for tomorrow. All right, cool. Let me talk to this old lady so she can give me something. You got something right? Mrs. Perm? Her name is Mrs. Perm. Why do they call you Mrs. Perm? All right, so what we're going to do, guys, we're clearly going to save our game here. We're going to take a break, and once we come back, we're going to be back with more tales of cold steel i know what i just said i said tales of cold steel sorry but you know I, I just spent 300 hours on tales of vespera give me a break i gotta get that out of my system but i'll see you guys for the next episode soon